The 29 Diner in Fairfax, Virginia is on the National Register of Historic Places. It first opened in 1947 and reopened in 2014. 29 Diner opened on July 20, 1947. It was built by the Mountain View Diners Company of New Jersey. DT Bill Glasscock purchased the diner and had it shipped to a strip of land that he owned in Fairfax, Virginia. Glasscock and his wife, Elvira Curley, ran the diner for the first several years and thereafter leased the building to a succession of business owners. In 1973, the Tasty Diner Company bought the location and it became the Tasty 29 Diner. Okay. In 1992, the diner was declared to be a National Historic Site. Mark Christian Wagner, an architectural historian from the Charlottesville-based Preservation Associates of Virginia organization, wrote the Statement of Significance. The opening of the statement declares, the Tasty 29 Diner is a rare survivor among the once numerous streamlined modern diners that operated in the United States. While it is rare to find one of these 1940s diners still standing, it is even more unusual to find one still in operation. The high quality of this Mountain View Diner has withstood the test of time in a hostile environment. Okay. Thus, in 1992, the Tasty 29 Diner was added to the list of National Register of Historic Places. In the late 1990s, Freddie and Ginger Guevara, Ginger being a former waitress at the 29 Diner in the mid-1960s, bought the location and restored its original name of 29 Diner. For years, the diner was open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with the exception being Christmas Day. In January 2009, the diner began closing on Monday nights due to the recession facing the United States. However, in 2014, it was restored back to being open 24 hours a day. In May 2014, the 29 diner went out of business under the operations of Freddie and Ginger Guevara. In 2014, John Wood reopened and restored the diner. Last summer, my friend Kim interviewed him. Let's go inside and talk to John. Now, what made you decide to take on a historic diner back then? What an amazing, mighty mountain the 29 Diner is. 70 years of history. It's a Virginia historic landmark. What better place to celebrate veterans and our freedoms and the police and the fire and the rescue that take care of our great county and recognize the needy and the poor. Uh, in January I stood with Shelter House uh, which are uh, domestic violence shelters protecting uh, women and children in domestic violence situation that become homeless. Um, I stood against domestic violence. Uh, we've raised four thousand and seventy seven dollars here in that month of January and we presented a check with Sherry Sheriff Stacy Kincaid, who Sheriff Kincaid has been instrumental in everything that we've done here. Uh, she is an amazing, amazing sheriff uh, here in Fairfax County, and we're blessed to have her support in everything we do. So $4,077 uh, in January we raised, and I stood against domestic violence and barbecued for 66 hours straight. <laughs> so that was one of the things that we did to raise $4,000. The table set up that, uh, that allows uh, guests and patrons to pick up brochures on how to prevent suicide? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, last year I was engaged by a Fairfax County Fire and Rescue, uh, Lee Boswell, a uh, 26 year retired veteran of Fairfax County Fire and Rescue. Uh, Lee uh, headed up uh, our Out of Darkness Walk, uh, part of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Okay, so our pies. So these are our fresh homemade fruit pies. Uh, make them every day here at the diner uh, and they're delicious. Uh, so these 10 uh, were ordered by uh, the Girl Scouts of America. Uh, the Girl Scouts will be stopping in. We're gonna be uh, feeding um, about a hundred Girl Scouts tonight. Uh, we're going to be feeding our uh, dry rub to barbecue and they ordered 10 of our fruit pies. So uh, they were just fresh baked. They're cooling uh, for their pickup. Uh, the Girl Scouts are coming what? 5.30? Yep. 5? 5 5.30 for pickup. So uh, pies head out the door with the Girl Scouts in about one hour. So uh, we're, uh, we're, we're we're real, uh, real, real, real blessed uh, with uh, the local community and uh, them coming in and supporting us. Uh, allowing us to bake and cook for them. So, uh, heading to the girls. Why are historic diners important? Well, that's a great question. I have a PhD in history, and when I was studying in graduate school, we read a book by an academic about diners. It talked about how important they were as social gathering spaces. Young people could 
come here and they could get some food without very much money. They could linger if there weren't new patrons coming in. You, it wasn't a place where you got thrown out of. And it just became important uh, social gathering places for the youth and the youth culture. Do you have any special memories of this diner? Oh yeah. I grew up in the area, so we came here as teenagers in the 70s, and then later on uh, uh, after college in the 80s. And it's just, uh, like you were saying, it's uh, inexpensive enough for us uh, young kids to come here and have a date and share a soda. And I came in here in the 1990s and the 2000s when I moved in, to this area. But one story I particularly like is that when uh, Valerie and I got married, my brother, my older brother came out from the West Coast and there was a particular food in this area of Scrapple that he wanted that he couldn't get there. So the morning that we got married, he and his wife came to the 29 Diner so they could have some Scrapple and they still talk about coming here, you know, 17 years later. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the diner. Stop by next time you're in Fairfax, Virginia.